It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of the so-called God particle. It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of this so-called God particle. It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimensions, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universes. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of the so-called God particle. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimensions, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universes. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. <laughs> Becoming God, they're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have more. Free. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of this so-called God particle. It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimension, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universe. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimensions, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universes. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. The forms of ancient strings. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimensions, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universes. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of the so-called God particle.
being called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of the so-called God particle. We'll become gods, period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, you're going to have big trouble. Tomorrowland. Years ago, a magnificent tale began. Magical key. In a time when darkness roamed, and creativity and joy were forbidden. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimensions, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universes. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Forms of matter, like dark matter, perhaps higher dimensions, perhaps evidence of a multiverse of parallel universes. This is just the beginning of a new branch of physics. The, there are several fundamental interesting ideas here. There's local gauge invariance, this wonderful prescription that by looking for symmetries and seeing if you can build a theory that respects those symmetries, you can get con conserved charges and you can also get photons. You build the structure of theories like electromagnetism and indeed the strong and weak nuclear force. And then, by this rather odd mechanism of spontaneous symmetry breaking, you can generate masses for those photons and you can end up with this extra prediction for this thing which turns out to be the Higgs particle is, I think, quite remarkable. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of the so-called Releasing the world from all its misery by building an instrument assembled in an enormous work of art to protect his creation, he fabricated a mythical key.
It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. Scientists at the world's largest atom smasher, CERN, announced in Geneva today that they have all but proven the existence of the so-called God particle. Magical key. In a time when darkness rolled and creativity and joy were forbidden. It's been called the scientific discovery of a lifetime. several fundamental interesting ideas here. There's local gauge invariance, this wonderful prescription that by looking for symmetries and seeing if you can build a theory that respects those symmetries, you can get con conserved charges and you can also get photons. You build the structure of theories like electromagnetism and indeed the strong and weak nuclear force. And then by this rather odd mechanism, spontaneous symmetry breaking, you can generate masses for those photons and you can end up with this extra prediction for this thing which turns out to be the Higgs particle is, I think, quite remarkable. Releasing the world from all its misery by building an instrument assembled in an enormous work of art. To protect his creation, he fabricated a mythical... And signs from the heavens, the first in a rare series of four so-called blood moons gets ready to grace the night sky soon, but is it more than just a lunar show? And signs from the heavens, the first in a rare series of four so-called blood moons gets ready to grace the night sky soon, but is it more than just a lunar show? This phenomenon of four consecutive blood moons coinciding with Jewish feast days has only occurred 10 times since 1 AD and only three times since 1492 AD. The three times since 1492 are as follows, Tetrad of 1493 to 1494 Tetrad of 1949 to 1950 Tetrad of 1967 to 1968 Biblical scripture telling about future wonders in the heavens and on earth Acts 2:20 The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come Revelation 6 12 to 14 and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood Joel 2 31 the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come Matthew 24 29 Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, Joel 2.30, and I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, and fire, and pillars of smoke. Revelation 3.10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Romans 10.9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. The first in a rare series of four 
so-called blood moons. Get ready to grace the night sky soon, but is it more than just a lunar show?